Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 9 of my SPAD 13 build. This is the last video in the series, really enjoyed this build, even though many things have gone wrong, as you've seen, but I've learnt new skills, as in rigging, gluing bi biplanes and what to watch for. I've got two more builds in the pipeline, one is a build for Models for Heroes, who I am heavily indebted to and involved with, and the second is another biplane, but this is a Prezi from a very good friend of mine. But what it is, you'll have to wait and see. Also, I'd like to thank you folks for following this through. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, ideas, what you'd like to see, please drop them in the comments below. So, less of the waffle, let's crack on. I'm gonna be using my homemade static grass applicator. I really must sort that video out. And I'm also going through which grasses I'm going to be using for the base. I've decided on which grasses to use. I'm gonna use the two, the four, and a 6mm grass. I'll give it a good old covering in 2mm, not so much of the 4mm, and even less of the 6mm. Then a sprinkling of dark flock, so here's the speedy uppy thing. And here we have it. Look, 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 I did a show and tell. Yeah. I also put the Bright Spring 2mm on as well, just to add a bit of variation, as you've probably noticed. And after every pass, I turned the base upside down, knocked off the spare grass and reused it. Now for the 4mm. And another show and tell. Get me. I'm getting good at this malarkey, but I better miss one. Anyway, that's the four millimeter done. Now for the six millimeter. And there's the six millimeter done. Now time to give it a good old dose of IPA. Here, I'm just using the air from my airbrush to give the grass different directions. If you don't have an airbrush, you can use a bendy straw. Now, let's leave that to dry and we'll come back to it later. Now, a bit of a wash on the spad, so here goes.
that's wash done and yes I failed to do show and tell anymore. Now let's leave that to dry and we'll come back to it later. Anyway, onto the base. This has dried very nicely and I'm pretty chuffed with it. Now the wash is dried, this was overnight, it's time to clean it off. I'm using my homebrew acrylic thinners here. As I found, it works an absolute treat. Remember, check out my budget videos, how to make homebrew thinners, just to see how I did it. And if you think, hmm, I could do that, give it a crack, let me know how you get on. Now as you can see, I knocked another wheel off. Oh well. I also knocked the two tail struts off the upper surface of the tail. So, I need to glue them back on again. Here we go. That's them stuck back on. Now it's time for the last bit to get glued onto the aircraft. And I'm talking about the propeller, obviously. Firstly, I glued the prop shaft into the back of the prop. Touched it up with a bit of silver on it. Then, when that was done, I touched up the prop with my specialist mahogany. You know, the one I mentioned in a previous episode? What, you haven't seen it? Why don't you jump back and check the other episode? Clean up a bit more wash, and I'm ready to put the prop on. And there we are, nearly finished. Yet again, I failed to do the show and tell. I told you I hadn't got it sorted yet. Now for the flat coat. I'm using Vallejo matte coat here with a couple of drops of my homebrew acrylic thinners just to loosen up a bit. So let's crack on and get this matte coat done. Now for the weathering. I'm using chalk pastels here. They are better and cheaper than buying multiple tubs of different colours of weathering powders for five quid each. When you can make your own colour and amount you need for five quid for the whole lot of colours. Make sense?
Now I need to make some chocks for the diode. I'm using coffee stirrers, wood glue and super glue. So, here we go. There you have it, one set of chocks done, looking quite good. Now we come to the end, it's the last bit, time to put it together, get some pictures done. So let's crack on and finish this project. And now it's time to take it away and get some pretty pictures done. So there we have it, my SPAD 13 build. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building it. Please, if you have any ideas or suggestions, pop them in the comments box below. And remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.